We ought to do this today, actually. <laughs> Get right into it. Okay, falls. Um, you know from well, you could fall from that side to side position, right? So Magnus, if she feels like she's falling, I'm going to try not to hold on. Open support so that she can take her feet away, bring it towards the ground, and turn towards the mat. So she's not falling, just lie on her back like this. Okay? <laughs> All right. Floating camel starts in well. I'm not going to grab her ankles. As she mounts, I'm going to grab the back of her legs here. The reason being is it will be easier for you to transition from here and slowly start folding her knees back this way. Turn back that way. She can place her um, actual feet onto my knees too. To take some of the weight off if it's too heavy in the arms. There. And then we'll slowly get up to camel, okay? So let me set her down for a second so I can do a base cam view so we can see where the feet and everything are. Okay, Mag is starting well once again. My feet will be lower on her back for most flyers who can take some of that flexibility. If you go too high, it doesn't allow the body to fully drape over, okay? So, but depending on your flyer, if they're a little, um, if the flexibility isn't quite there yet, go ahead and place it high on the back. If they're a little more flexible, a little lower will be easier for you, her weight to pour over and thus for you to kick up. I'm grabbing the back of the knees for this one because it helps me to slowly just fold her feet back, or her knees back this way. She's going to grab her feet there. Back there, okay? We'll get the hair first. Let's just at least get the feet towards the knees. And find this balance like that. If you can do that free first. Okay, find that first. Okay, hand placement. Me personally, I like it between the knee and the ankle, not all the way here. Because once she's uh, creating that nice box with her body, the center of weight will actually be right above her shin. So I like it right around there with the fingers, the two circus fingers here, so I can gauge back and forth. So not so high. I like it right there for me. And not too low either, otherwise you'll fall forward. A common fall when you're starting to float in camel is this fall. If you're starting to float without the feet, she'll land back onto your feet. So always keep your feet near so she can fall back on here. But I've seen flies fall forward this way. They're still bound and they land right on their knees. Ouch. <laughs> so flies, when you start falling forward, let go of those feet as fast as you can so your feet come down before your knees hit. That's why we're always mindful of the space behind us. Okay, one more time. Coming back. This is the position I want you to at least to get to, right here. Get to that, there. Now we're gonna start playing with the floating camel, which means she's doing this position just on your hands. I'm grabbing, again, right on the middle of the shin there, fingers on her shins. A common mistake that I did when I first flew is I grabbed the bottom of my ankles like this. This doesn't give you any support to support your torso. You gotta grab the top of your ankle like this. Thumb on this side and hands on the other side. That way, when you're pushing your hips forward and creating that box, your arm is able to push straight down into your ankle and create that nice stack. That way your torso can be supported by your hands. So she's pushing down into her ankles, her hips are forward. My arms are stacked there. Just do this for now, find that. Slowly, same thing with the well. Bring your pivot off the ball of the feet, bring it in. Get it sideways. Now you have her on one foot. And then you can slowly tip her forward. She's stacked right above, creating that box. And you can slowly keep your, keep your toes there in case she falls back. Right there, keep your toes there. If you want to style it, I'd do that for now. If she falls back, your feet are close enough to catch her. There, catch her there. And always keep this wrist stack. The moment your wrists are beyond here, she could fall forward. She lets go of the ankle so she can land on her feet. Okay, one demo once more, Magda. A quick demo. Okay, here we go. Lean back. Up, we're here. On top. Find the stack. Hips forward. Push. I'm using my fingers. Good. 
At the very least, let's get to this today. Let's get to that today. You hold the head up. For her? Yeah. Um, yeah, she she's got her neck crunched down. Crunched down. Um, she can, but she can look back to you. It looks a little prettier. She looks back. Um, I think it looks a little bit. It does change the balance. It makes it a little heavier towards here, which I think is better, personally, because if you fall back, the feet can catch. Mm -hmm. Falling forward is very dangerous, especially because she's bound. Yeah. So I would prefer flyers to have a little more trust in the base to look back, and also the base can have the feet ready to catch at any time. Keep it up there. Okay. Okay. That's 